How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. And we're probably going to get super fingered today. Uh, I came back to Faramazula because, <clears throat> as we know, there definitely is a dragon god here that needs a killing that we have not killed yet. Excuse you, sir. Alright, I'm not messing with all this. We got things to do. We got things to do, we got places to be. Hop on down. Wee. And kind of sucks that we have to kill Placidux for a trophy. I don't know. The more I, I, I play <laughs> this game, there's so many bosses, which is awesome, but it's also like, why do I need to kill this guy? What what did he do? He didn't do anything. He's sleeping for all of eternity. Like, why am I here to disrupt that? But, here we are. Meant to carve out destruction for all. <laughs> for the sake of trophies. Here to get sucked up by the storm. Ooh, that's cool. Oh shit, is it gonna like rebuild the arena? That's pretty badass. There he be. See, he's just sleeping. Ooh, it does look like he has pieces of gold attached to him, which is very interesting. Just a sleepy boy. Now there's definitely ways that you can cheese this guy from what I've seen, but I don't want to do that. Not not yet anyway. Alright, let's put on something for electricity <laughs> cuz we all know what's going to happen holy damage uh lightning negation yeah that sounds about right i mean we could probably also do magic but i feel like lightning is going to be more effective for us Um, we did recently get all the talismans, so I got the talisman trophy, which is great. Do 
depicting the ancient king. So from this, I would guess that he can use some sort of sorcery and incantations. I mean, he's also a dragon, and we know that they, they do have some magic up their sleeves. He has four heads in the talisman, and he only has two here, so it leads me to believe that either he's been fought before, when he was kind of like forced to be imprisoned here, and maybe lost two of his heads. But it's kind of nice they give you a little reprieve uh, before the fight. So let's try him out. I know he's kind of weak to poison-ish. We'll see if he bleeds. <laughs> We're going to make him bleed. Uh, let's give it a go. We might die, but, you know, who cares? That hurts. <laughs> Trying to stay by his booty. Ow. Holy shit. Okay, that's a big AoE. Oh boy, he's gonna start flying. Run away. Alright. Oh shit, I forgot to give her some tear- uh, I mean, not tears. Oh, fuck. What an asshole. Uh, stuff to heal herself. Alright. It's gonna fly around, it's gonna fly around. It's gonna go over there. Oh boy. Mimics here still holding up. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Wow, this is very... annoying. Oh, what a dick. This is super dickish, sir. Oh, we're gonna get hit, but I'm just trying to do it as much as possible. Oh, all right, officially out of flasks. It's gonna be bad. We might die. Yeah, we died. Oh, we got so close though. Alright, this time for sure gonna drop some healing items for my bay. Uh, I think we also have to change this. And instead, greatly raises, yeah, power successive attacks. That's what we need. Um, I feel like the lightning negation is like so so. Trying to think if there's anything better we can put on. I mean, we could do something to raise our stamina so that we can get in more hits. And that does raise our stamina quite a bit. Or stamina recovery speed. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
We could do final hit. Just trying to think what's going to be the best course of action. Uh, maybe we can increase our poise. So our poise is pretty low. So we could probably do that. Raise the attack power with lower equipment load. I haven't tried that out. Hmm. Or we could do that one as well. Raises attack power with successive attacks. So let's do that. <laughs> and just be a total fucking monster. It's all about the successive attacks. Um, we're also going to throw down... A warming stone. I mean, part of me wants to re uh some poison. Oh, you know, I didn't really read these. It's really sad. Um, when we went to the subterranean depths um, and just see all the omen there, uh, you pick this up and it's just fucking sad. It's really sad. All right. You know what? Yeah, I, I think I, I will drop the uh, poison just in case she wants to throw it. You know, who knows? Oh man, kind of sucks. We have to go all the way back. I mean, it's not too long of a run, but I'm kind of surprised there's not like um. Statue of America there. Jeez, that like disappearing, reappearing act is not fun. Go away, go away, go away. My qualm is not with you. Please return to other duties. And do not follow me. <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised they didn't put like a statue of America like down here. Just in case. But FromSoft wants to be a fucker like that. Alright. Round two. I don't even know where my things are, but... Where am 
my souls. Probably somewhere over there. Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, I see them. I don't know how many I dropped. It's not worth it. I don't care. We're just gonna go for this. Go for gold! Try not to lock on. Oh! And try not to get greedy. That's a big ask. And it goes farther than I thought. Oh, you know what? Maybe I will just pick these up, just cause. Yeah, that's a decent amount. Yeah, there you go. Hit the hit the butt. Oh, all right. It's going to fly. That's just, just fucking overkill. What a dick. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What an a-hole. Alright, let's try... Sosoratina. <laughs> We're just gonna go in and see how well we do with just straight up magic over here. I'm trying to run and get my, get my runes. Magic and Bloody Helix. Oh. God, I gotta get good at timing my rolls now, because I don't have the cheating ability of the Bloodhound Sweep. <laughs> Which is so good. I mean, it gives you so much of a, a bigger hitbox, essentially. Uh... Or, or rather, like, more iframes. But I saw that this guy is super weak to piercing, so we're gonna get our thrust on, as well as our bloody bloods. And yeah, it is- it seems to be doing a lot more- oh god. I'm trying not to lock on to him either, so I'm. It's easier for me to see when his attacks are coming. I don't think I'd recommend locking on to this fight. Get some of this. This good, good. Alright, where are you? Aha. Uh, if you don't dodge that, it's very easy for him to one-shot you. <laughs> like, very easy. Oop. 
get that. Oh my god, we're so close. It just needs like three more hits, probably. Oh my god. Does so much damage. Wow. What a little fucker. What a little fucker. But we gotta go back and try it again. Alright, so we got him that time. Just with pure magic. <laughs> oh, man. What a little piece of shit with those laser beams. But it is done. <laughs> uh, let's get ourselves... Oh. I guess it, it doesn't give you any more once your mimic leaves. But let's get ourselves this grace point. And then read the remembrance that we got. Power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Dragon Lord, whose seat lies at the heart of the storm beyond time, is said to have been the Elden Lord in the age before the Erd Tree. Once his god was fled, the Lord continued to await its return. Huh. So it's possible that his god could be the talisman that we see, that we get. Um, that he could be modeled after. But, interesting. So now we know that there were, indeed, lords and elden lords before the Age of the Erd Tree. So there was something else. Entirely. Let's see what we can get for this bad boy. Uh, no new gear. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna do the crag blade because we don't meet the faith requirements for the magic. Hm. Commands great power over the poultry and mortal dragons of today. Yeah, don't say. Thundercloud form. Temporarily transform into a thunder cloud and fly? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna try that out. Oh, nice. And it's just a strength and dex weapon. Thank God. Because if it was faith, I'd be kind of sad. Let's go... Let's go to Church of Ella to try it, to try it out. See what it's all about. Kind of give ourselves some room. So yeah, standard standard piercing attacks, just like the Helix and the S stock. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> and honestly, it doesn't take up too much FP. Come here, little lamb. Don't run away from me. I am the eye of the storm. Alright, I'm not gonna hit you, I guess. Fine. Run away! Ooh. That's a lot of fun. That might be useful for our dragon fights later. Alright, now that we got that guy out of the way, there's still a few bosses we have to complete in order to get all of our trophies and then just be left with the endings. Uh, I put on some new gear, just to try on some new stuff. Uh, I leveled up my bloody helix all the way up. Um, I think we look like a pretty cool gold mask freak. I'm into it. So basically, we want to get down over here. Um, I also haven't done a bunch of the Lake of Rot over here. But there is another boss that we have to get to.
I'm very excited to try it all out. Let me see, is there... No. Nope. Trying to see our best way to get down there. Hmm. Unless it, we have to come down the other way. Might have to come down that way. Let's see. Alright, so that's coming down that way. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how I even got here the first time. Let's try. Let's start from here. Oh, you know what? Alright, that definitely doesn't lead there. Alright, let's try one more time. Man, I hate having to figure stuff out. Oh, I'm gonna laugh if there's like, does this go down? Ho! Oh, look at that. We just missed it. I'm really digging this outfit. It has really high, um, well, it doesn't have high poise, but it does, it does have a lot of high, uh, magic resistance. Oh yeah, I remember this. Man, my whips would have been good for... I mean, thrust is still great. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ugh. Maybe we just skip some of this. <laughs> How about that? 
or just move around. Excuse you, sirs. Oof, that was beautiful. Alright, I'm really liking this thrusty helix. I gotta get used to it, because I was on my whip game for so long. And whips are great. Whips are actually really great. Uh, but these, the Helix is doing a lot more damage so far for me. And I kind of like being able to use a shield again. <laughs> Just a little bit. And be able to do back attacks. Because you can't do, you can't do back attacks with the whips. You can't do criticals. So, just be aware of that. Criticals... are no-go. See an item over there, I think. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm just here for this stuff. But if you want to get frisky, you can do that too. Mm. Love it. Stabby stabs are very satisfying. kind of nice. It's like going back to the very beginning in a way because I started out with the S-Dock as my first weapon. So this is a lot of fun. Alright, so clearly there's a lot of shit I have not discovered down here. Mm. Is there a grace up there? Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. Well, this looks like some rot. Oh, come on. Double whammy! Uh, which way do we want to continue here? Ooh. Don't we just love a place of dumped bodies? Goodbye. I also feel like a lot of stuff in this game is really weak to thrust and bleed, so this weapon is kind of dope. And a good double whammy that way. Let's see. Get all the goods down here. Not entirely sure where the boss fight is. Oop, that could be it. I think this is the boss room. That is the boss room. Okay. So, I guess before we do that, let's make sure we get everything down here. So there's a nice bit of zigzaggery. Oh good, we have a America statue here. So we don't have to run 
back that far. Uh, I could have sworn there was another path I didn't take. I feel like it was further down here, yeah. Let's just check this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, never mind. I don't want to fuck with that. Alright, I guess boss time it is. So this would be the Dragonkin boss. Which we have ultimately skipped. It's kind of nice coming to some things a little later, because you're kind of like way leveled up, ready to ready to party, party hardy. Whoa, this is a really fucking cool room. Whoa. Look how big these guys are. This is very Bloodborne going on right now. I wonder if they're worshipping... Worshipping someone? Or do they all burn? Wow, this is really cool. Could this be one of the old gods, perhaps? Whoa, he's cool. a hard time hitting him already. Get the beats. Ouchies. <laughs> We're way too OP for this guy. Ooh, we've got frozen lightning spear. And we get the trophy. Let's see what we got. Uh, nope. Spells. Looked like it was an incantation, maybe? Yeah, it is. Channels the power of the Dragonkin soldiers, creates a spear of ice lightning, and stabs it into the ground from above. On impact, the spear will burst into trails of lightning, advancing forwards. Uh, the Dragonkin were born in the Eternal City, where they knew no true sky, nor true lightning. Instead, ice lightning was their weapon. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, it is a false sky, all of Nakella and Necron. Whoa, this dude's pretty cool. I wish this was kind of a boss. That would have been badass. More goodies. Ooh, legendary goodie? I'll take it. Is there no extra lore on this guy? Whoa. Oh, there's a grace point down there. Is that... Oh, that's the waterfall basin. Wow, so this is right above. Wish there was another lore point of who who this person is. I'm 
Just trying to look at the attire. Ah, it's freaking cool. So cool. 